Stephen, look at Tom over there. Can you give your brother a hug and a kiss, please? Yes. Are you? Can I the photo? You tell Tom, what's your name? Stephen Brandon. And how old are you? Four. Oh, come with us and gallop and gallop and gallop. Oh, come with us and gallop in room for room today. Our animal friends will take us to Hunter. Our animal friends will take us to places far away. Steve, so welcome to the game. Stephen Brandon is a student in arts management, everybody. Yep. And he wants to be a television programmer. <laughs> It'd be nice. Ooh. Gee, good luck. 200. Uh, B for Barry. Yes. What sort of uh, programming would you have, mate? Reality uh, galore or what? Oh, I think we've got plenty of reality at the moment. Yes. Maybe some more winning game shows. Oh, All right. There it is. Oh. There it is. <laughs> Can I have an L for Lara? Yes. I'm going to take this with me. P for Paul, please. Tell me what it is. To button one's lip. Yes. To button one's lip. When the new magazine What's On Weekly hit newsstands this morning, it marked the first time in more than 20 years that Australia's had two weeklies dedicated to television. Oh, Ironically, that's... until just three weeks ago, Katie Eckberg and her staff, seen here toasting the launch of WOW, actually produced TV Week. He's a writer from Sydney, Australia. Say hello to Stephen. Hi April, I'm a fun and upbeat guy. Uh, when I moved to this country, people said I have to be fashionably late to parties, but that doesn't matter because the party only starts when I arrive. What makes you gentlemen think you're so smart? Well, I have an accent, so I'm very charming. If you want to win her over, I'm your perfect gentleman. Start down under. You're gonna wish you had this shrimp in your barbie. There's no way I'm getting excused tonight. Let's just say I've got spirit fingers and I know how to use them. If you win $25,000 today, what are you gonna do with the money? Well, the plan is I'd really like to take my friends to come to Australia and meet my family and my Aussie friends down there. Nice, meet your mum, your dad. Have a shrimp on the Barbie Have a shrimp on the Barbie and a blooming yeah. onion. Yeah, you know it. Okay, good on ya. On Dating Naked, Stephen <laughs> likes to make jokey movie references and I think Taryn is totally on his wavelength. So we're going water skiing. I tried once when I was 12. It didn't go successfully. I'll tell you, if I get excited, we're gonna need a bigger boat. I don't know about that. There's a pretty big boat here. <laughs> Unfortunately for her, he gets aroused by stupidity and damned if his erect penis didn't sink that boat. <laughs> I just love that his microphone is in his chest here with double stick tape. Seamlessly. You can't even see it. We had a, a lovely beach date. We played badminton. She didn't mind when my shuttlecock went in her face. It was all good. Oh my gosh. I thought, well, that'll be an adventure. You know, usually it takes me a couple of dates to get a girl naked. This was such a time saver. What happens if you get excited during the show? Does well, it get awkward? Well, the, uh, the guys who blur it, they have to work overtime, that's for sure. Hey everyone, it's the Nerd Patrol. Ozzy Steve here with Wyatt and Steve Parker. We're gonna play a little game on the streets of Burbank today called Marry, Screw, Kill. Why am I getting killed? I look evil. <laughs> I look evil. I just want to thank everyone so much. It's been a, a fabulous uh, run. Thanks everyone for watching TV Talk tonight and we'll see you later. Honey, I had this really strange dream that I hosted a TV talk show.